We're next going to hear from Pastor Larry Phillips, who is a devoted follower of Jesus Christ, a husband of 35 years, has father of a two, as well as a grandfather of two. For the last 24 years, he has served as the senior pastor of Midway Baptist Church in Mount Airy. He holds a BA from Cornerstone University and two master's degrees from Liberty Baptist Theological Seminary in Lynchburg. He is definitely, he is also, by the way, just became a elected board of commissioners for the county of Surrey here in North Carolina. Yes. And he has a deep concern about the continual attacks upon religious freedom in America. Let's welcome Pastor Larry Phillips. Thanks, guys. Um, I'll, I'll keep it short, but it's about 10 degrees warmer in the sunshine. You, get, you guys figured that one out, right? Let me, let me assure you of something. We're going to fix this. We're going to fix the mess the president has made with health care. We're going to fix it. Now, here's the thing about the president. God bless his heart. When you ask him something, you say, Mr. President, our embassy is attacked. Four Americans are dead. He says, we're, we're going to fix it. Mr. President, unemployment is high, and he says, we're going to fix it. Mr. President, gas is nearly $4 a gallon, and he says, we're going to fix it. Mr. President, 36 of your green energy companies using stimulus money have gone bankrupt, and he says, but we're going to fix it. Well, Mr. President, with all due respect, in 18 days, we, the people, are going to fix it, and you're going back to Chicago, my friend. I love something our North Carolina Constitution says, and I want you to listen, because this is based upon a premise that is true throughout this country. In Article 1, Section 2 is titled, entitled Sovereignty of the People. Now, you listening? It says, all political power is vested in and derived from the people. All government of right originates from the people and is founded upon their will only and is instituted solely for the good of the whole. In this country, sovereignty rests with you. Those 13 colonies that came here, they had their country, they were under a sovereign British crown. When we declared our independence, it was not just from a king who was out of touch with those that he lorded over, but it was also with a king who controlled the state church. And those colonists, when we signed, when they signed the De Declaration of Independence, <coughs> they did so knowing that it would probably cost them their lives, that they would be hunted down like traitors. But they did so with the belief that God gave you a right to be free. And don't ever uh, forget that. The right to religious freedom is a God-given right. It is not a government-given right. Because what the government gives, it can take away. But what we've seen with this president is just the relentless attack upon religious freedoms. We've seen it with their Lutheran schools. We've seen it over and over and over and over. A president who continually overreaches his power. And even to the point that the most liberal members of the Supreme Court would say, Mr. President, you're out of bounds. You've crossed the line. Well, we're going to fix this. We're going to fix it in about 18 days, to be exact. We're going to fix this. Don't you lose heart in this final quarter. Don't you give up. Don't let people persuade you that, well, it's too massive. Uh, it, it's already the money's appropriated. It's already in place. We, the people, this is our country. We can fix it. And we're going to. MC mentioned I'm from Liberty University or um, graduated there, holding, completing my second master's there. I'm proud that Liberty has joined the ranks of those that have filed suit against this. Amen? Amen. Because we understand something. Today, it's a Catholic hospital. And by the way, let me tell you something about Catholic hospitals and, chari and charities. I was born in 1958 in the Appalachian Mountains of Western North Carolina. There was a hospital that was run by the sisters there called Providence Hospital. And were it not for the good graces of the benevolence and the charity of, the, who, of those who operated that hospital, a lot of folks in the Appalachian Mountains of Western North Carolina would have gone without health care. 
It is my privilege to be here today. It is my honor to be here today and stand with a group that has brought so much blessings and so many kindness to this nation. And although I'm a... Go ahead. Amen. I, although I'm Baptist and they're Catholic, there's not, there's not a scintilla of daylight between us when it comes to this issue. If Catholic charities and hospitals are allowed to be regulated to where they lose, they lose their religious freedom, then tomorrow it's a Christian school. And when the charities, the Christian charities are gone and the Christian schools are gone and the private universities go out of business, then those of you who thought you could just stay safe and quiet within the four walls of your church, it's you next. It's your group next. We stand together or we fall together, one way or the other. We're all going to go down in this battle and this fight for freedom or we're all going to emerge victorious. But one thing's for sure, this is our country. We are the people. We're going to fix this in 18 days. And you keep standing strong. I love you. God bless you. And God bless this great country.